Local beer isn't just for locals anymore. And Raleigh, we're exploring how craft brewers are showcasing their beers in tap rooms and on shelves across the state. All right, we're here today with Adam Eschball from 919 Beer and Beer Arcana Craft Beer and Music Festival. Adam, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Andrew. Talk a little bit about the craft beer scene in Raleigh. That is a loaded question when we're talking about the craft beer scene in Raleigh because in particularly the past five years, it has grown exponentially and it's embedded itself a little bit in our culture here in, in, in the entire triangle. A lot of people get into craft beer, you know, maybe with an IPA or maybe like a Pilsner that they find at a brewery and then they, it just opens the door. I mean, so many breweries are getting creative by adding different things like habanero peppers, um, experimenting with different barrel aging, that it just, the door is so wide open that once you get in it, you kind of just get hooked by exploration. So we went from a couple years ago having five, maybe 10 bottle shops to 50 now. And the reason that is, is not only because people like going and buying beer to take home, but those bottle shops are also becoming community pubs. So these bottle shops and growler filling stations are places where people go in and, yeah, they're gonna buy three or four beers or maybe a couple growlers to take home, but they're also gonna drink a couple while they're there and they're gonna meet their friends. So bottle shops are, are hangouts, they're not just stores. I think that there's a lot of people out there that really enjoy the bottle shop experience where there's such a variety of things to choose from. And um, beer is, is uh, Certainly if we compare it to other, you know, like a wine tasting, or there, there's so much variety and so many things to learn that I think people really enjoy having a, an environment where like-minded people hang out in bottle shops or certainly that kind of place. Uh, so for us, uh, we want to be talked about. We want people to talk about our beers. Uh, getting into the bottle shops is, is, is key. You know, a lot of folks now, a lot of beer drinkers now, which I'm one of them, we like variety, we like quality, we don't always drink the same thing. I'm not coming home every afternoon and getting into my case of Miller Lite or whatever the next watery domestic is. So if you're going to continue to grow, you need to package your product because you need people buying it everywhere and you need to expand your footprint. The atmosphere for craft beer drinkers is they're always trying to find something new and different. Distributing our beer was important because, um, you know, our limited, I guess, footprint here for retail, um, you know, the majority of the people that know about us are Clayton residents. They're all super excited that we moved to the area, but really, to get the beer uh, in people's hands or get people out here to try the beer, we self-distribute. I think doing that is obviously building your brand, being able to expose people to your beer uh, with a wider reach uh, all around North Carolina. The, the cans and bottles, the, the key right now is packaging to get your product in the hands of consumers. And the easiest way to do that is either put it in a can or put it in a bottle. And where we are in Raleigh, we are a couple hours from the beach, a couple hours from the mountains. People can take their beers anywhere with it. We do about 75 to 80% offsite distribution. Um, people are asking for the beer all over the place. I feel like an entertainer. And I'll tell you why, because you know the feeling that they get when they're done catching a touchdown pass or singing the song the way it's supposed to be sung and getting a great uh, review. Uh, we feel the same way. If you see somebody open your beer uh, at a bar, pull one of your taps, it is a great feeling. It's why we do this, I gotta be honest. Again, it's, it's another way that the consumer can can get those products that are local, right. like you said, buying local, and uh, take them home with them. Take them anywhere. Them with, hey. Whenever I go back to visit my family in Maryland, yeah. it's got to bring beer. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I got to be that ambassador, yeah, right? Absolutely. Adam Eschball, 919 Beer, and Beer Atomic Craft Beer Music Festival. That's right. Adam, cheers. Cheers. Thank you.